Okay, apparently I'm a liar. But I figured it out. Circuit restored something, something, something. Now, well, welcome back to a Donner Crisis LP. shot to death. She's not breathing. She's holding a memo written in blood. One, two, eight, one. Well, they look like devices that record data when the third energy is activated. They've been handled by someone with bloody hands. Their fingerprints can be seen clearly. Pass this way to personal lab. selective space to an alternate time-space continuum. But I was incorrect. The space was not transferred, it was exchanged. To put it in terms that even you can understand, third energy has the ability to replace a pocket in space with one from a different time. What? Yes. I came to these conclusions following this evening's final experiment. You've seen the effects yourself. Those beasts were occupying the space this facility is located on almost 65 million years ago. Right. So that's how those dinosaurs appeared in our time. Precisely. And that is what I have done. Uh-huh. And how many people were sacrificed before you made this discovery? <laughs> Who cares? The numbers are quite irrelevant. Let's just say that there were many. Extraordinary deaths for ordinary men, don't you think? Spoken like a true devil. A god or a devil? Hmm. I don't care about that. Only my experiment. Enough. Huh. Crazy. Only one thing matters at this point. Your grand invention is blocking our escape. You need to destroy the vortex. The only way to do that is to allow the generator's third energy levels to overload. Theoretically speaking, the third energy and the vortex will cancel each other out if they come in contact with one another. But there is one small catch. If you cannot... 
not stop the generator's third energy overload, this entire region may be shifted to another point in the space-time continuum. Then we'll just make sure to be somewhere else when the shift happens. No problem. But we couldn't even activate the device. <laughs> You're missing the initializer and stabilizer, right? Where are they? Calm down. They should be stored in one of the security level A rooms on floor B3. Very good, Doc. Now you understand our situation. We live, you live. It can be used to enter all areas of the facility. Okay, I'm all set to whip up a program that will send a stream of third energy into the vortex. I'll keep an eye on the doctor. Regina, you go find those devices and overload the third energy. Remember, they're in a security level A room on floor B3. Hold up. That whole floor is crawling with dinosaurs, including that T-Rex. Let's get this situation under control before charging off. Here, take this. The disk contains the draft plans for the initializer and stabilizer. I stumbled over them while searching through the database. Fortunately, the room where the parts are stored is not far from here. We should gather up the parts and assemble the devices. Don't be ridiculous. Regina doesn't have the technical knowledge for that. We don't even know if all the right parts are there. We'd be better off simply trying to hunt down the completed devices. It's too dangerous down there. She won't make it. It's your call then, Regina. You're the one who has to do this. So what's your choice? It's your show, girl. I just hope you know what you're doing. Do whatever you want. Just don't fail. Possibly the private belongings to of Dr. Kirk, they are covered with dust. A notice to the staff from Dr. Kirk. Read the file, of course. Notice, preparing the stabilizer and initializer. Make sure these two devices are ready in time for the experiment. Each of these two devices consists of the following three parts. The core parts and project part A and B. This means six parts are needed in all. These parts are separately stored in the experiment room, in the experiment room, the design room, and the part storage room. Once you have acquired all six parts, you can assemble them in the experiment room. The weightless m manipulator must be operated by a staff of level A class. Don't bother me, Dr. Kirk's is the lab room. The panel on the ceiling has been removed and the boxes are covered with dust. Doctor's personal belongings. Check my time. As soon as we can go ahead and go do the uh, ID card thing.
That's what the poison dart does. Insta kill. After I use some of these slag bullets, I might carry the other three poison darts. For emergency uses. Oh, I've already got that. Third Energy Laboratory, ID Supervisor Edward Kirk. Data has been, well, let's see what it says now. The ID card you use for Project Super Superintendent. The card certifies the status of Dr. Kirk. And just to show you what you could do with the card now, when the B3, well, the large size elevator got destroyed, you weren't able to. Uh, backtrack all the way to the beginning. Now, we can. Uh, figured that was the wrong way. Where's the rest station at? I knew that was going to happen. But hey, look, watch this. Oh. Something here that couldn't be activated without a level 8 card. Let's go check that out. C A E C C A C A E C F C A E Oh, memory's good. Uh, I missed the first one though, so uh, let me check my time. Yeah, time to end it, so I'll see you on the next one.